Hello everyone, I am Dima and I will tell you about the Open World Bakery plugin for Unreal Engine, a real-time terrain generator. Today I will explain core concepts of the plugin, because why do you need anything beyond Perlin Noise, right? Perlin Noise is just awesome. Well, it is, but it does not help much in some cases. When we look at the real landscapes, some geologically ancient places are somewhat perlin like yes. But if you try to google mountains, you will have a hard time searching for images like this. And for a good reason. This regular sinusoid-like stuff is basically boring. That's what we want our mountains to look like, right? Like this. Or like this. And by simply doing basic math with regular noise, you can't get realistic heat map of this kind. It's irregular by nature, but it's not really random. It has its own logic, and your eye can see it. So, what's the trick? How do we make a juicy landscape? Let's first dig a bit into geology. Generally, you can schematize the process of mountains forming like this. Tectonic plates float over the magma. They move, and on the edges, plates buckle and fold. That's where you get mountains. You can get a general idea of the process in videos like this, except the scale is higher and ice is too fragile. This process takes millions of years and involves immense amount of matter. You also want to add a little bit of this. and a little bit of turbulence atop, as geological energies are so immense that rocks sometimes behave more like a liquid, or at least like clay. Ok now, how do we simulate all this mess? I'll show you the principles first, and then we will jump into the Unreal Editor to see how it works. Here are the main processes that form mountains. Plates move, they meet each other, and on the edge you have mountains. And here are the mountains you get from this. In reality, these are highly irregular, usually sharp-edged structures. Nothing like Perlin noise. So, that's why we are going to create the terrain by simply dropping on the plane some relevant-looking primitives. And then we will twist them, and then we will squeeze them, and then we will crush them and hopefully we will get a better base for erosion than any kind of the regular noise. And we will find the place for the noise too, of course. It's time to jump to Unreal Editor, where I am creating a new third-person project, like this. I need C++ project, because the plugin is still in development. Ok, the project is created, let's close the editor and add the plugin to the project. If you will use a plugin from the marketplace, you can skip this, otherwise here we go, navigate to the project folder and create plugins folder here. Then we go to github, copy url and check out open world bakery to this folder, like this. Now to start the editor, the plugin should be built and active. Let's check. Here it is. Perfect. Now I will create a blank landscape. with layers enabled and with example material, like this. And we will fill the material layers. OK.
this is just a generic landscape stuff to prepare this scene perfect we're all set now let the magic begin first we need to bind the instance of the open world bakery brush to this landscape if we try to add a blueprint brush right away we can no button here but don't panic it's just a small bug in 425 we switch to select and back to landscape and here we go blueprint brushes now available click blueprint brush and then we pick open world bakery brush here now to pick to click on the landscape and we're all set the change in the landscape indicates the bakery is up and running before we begin we need some workplace setup for the bakery for now we only want to bake a basic terrain with no erosion or material supplied we want to see our fake geology naked so we set bake base terrain only checkbox we also do not want bakery to upscale the landscape which is useful with real landscapes but will mess our playground experience so we set scale mode to none and we purge the default example hill setup now let's bake our brand new world and as promised we start on an empty plane for this demo we will use the most primitive object the cone we want it to be in the center of the plane We want it to be huge, let's say 0.8, and we do not want it to be distorted just yet. A plain cone. Now to bake it, and we got what we deserved. Great. So from now on, we want to see the changes we make on the landscape in real time. I check how to update world if setup changed, and let's start the twist. As we remember from our geology intro, most geology processes are eccentric. So let's make our cone eccentric too, with some significant value, like this. Well, perhaps that was too much, let's have 20 here for now. Another obvious thing to add is convex. 0.55 will do, I believe. And one more fun thing to add is ripple. Let's say it will have amplitude of 0.2 and frequency of 3. No, that was too much. Let's have 0.05. Right. That's starting to look more like those natural mountains, right? Let's move ripple phase a little bit to say 1.2. Okay, now we have some more or less spectacular slug here, but it still looks pretty regular, right? It's time to fire our main caliber, Distort. Here we have some defaults, let's get rid of them, and we want our first Distort to be large and powerful, like this. And we want our cone to be distorted by it, so we add ID 0 to use Distort's array. Whoa, now it looks like it, right? perhaps too high. We can tune Distort a little bit like this. That was a big one, and we want one more Distort, more precise and really destructive. So we set scale to 0 0.1 and power to 0 0.2. So this one will just tear the landscape apart. somewhat like this or maybe like this to make it look solid we will simply put several of these on the map in the random spots let's assign an area to spawn this like this Let's say we want to have three cones here, and let's add some randomness to generation.
Well, this looks quite spectacular already. We can tune distorts a bit. And now let's build full featured terrain. We've made a rock in the ocean. I guess we should add ground here. Let's pretend for a moment our ground is a sphere. like this. or even like this. Now, let's bake a full-scale terrain. So, just with a cone at hand, we have created a beautiful mountain range. It's random, it's asymmetric, and yet you can easily guess its origins from these geological processes. It feels quite realistic even without proper materials. Like, subscribe, use Open World Bakery plugin to build your unique worlds. You may also want to see the next tutorial video about simple volcano creation. And I have a video with a quick overview of all the brushes shipped with the plugin, as you really have much more than a cone here.